Welcome to the Blueprint Channel. My name is Adam, and today I'm going to bring you part two of replicating a real town into Minecraft. First off, I'd like to say thank you to everyone for the support on the first episode of this series. If you haven't watched it, be sure to check it out. I'll leave the link in the description as well as towards the end of the video. Now in today's episode, we are going to cover how to use the image overlay we made from the last video as a template for painting roads onto the terrain. But first, we're going to actually do a re-export of the terrain to make the elevations more realistic than we did in the last video. The goal is to ready the map for adding terrain and vegetation layers in the, in the next video. For this episode, we're going to use two tools which I will leave in the description. They will be World Painter and Google Maps, as well as the height map we got from terrain.party from the last video. So again, if you haven't watched the first episode of the series, be sure to check it out or else you're probably going to get pretty lost during this video. Anyways, let's get started. So here I am in the terrain map on World Painter that we made in the first video. And what I noticed, and I did say that I was going to come back this video and fix the terrain, make everything higher but what I realized was that that was going to be way too time consuming you can see here if we go to Google Maps on Google Maps if you click these the menu button and then terrain it'll have the terrain for you and then we're gonna go over to Saranac Lake New York and you'll see again this is this hill this hill right here is the same as this little thing right here um, so if you can see that, see this hill is the same as this hill. And what you'll notice is that this bottom elevation, 1,600 feet, versus this 2,100 foot summit, which is about 500 feet in between the base of the hill and the top of the hill, which means that it's about, um, because remember we're in um, Minecraft, so we have to do 500 or we have to do 500 divided by 3 which is 167 and um, again that's 1 to 1 scale we're in 1.5 scale so we have to multiply that by 1.5 so realistically this small hill that's almost unnoticeable sometime would actually be almost at the height limit so that's the issue that we're gonna have to deal with is we're gonna have to actually scale down the terrain a little bit um, so like this will be this will be probably left at 166 we might not actually bring up the terrain in 1.5 scale and sometimes you have to make that decision because you know this mountain which is quite a bit taller than this would be at like y of 300 and obviously you can't get the y of 300 unless you mod it and so this is this is the thinking that you have to go through when you're creating these maps so what we're gonna do is we're going to make it so that this, which is cur currently rises about 30 blocks instead of 167 blocks, we're going to have to reopen or re-import this terrain. So we're going to go import new world from height map. And we're not going to save it because I actually didn't do anything. I don't know why it's saying that. We're going to go to the desktop, uh, which is over here. And I'm going to get the 1200 by 1200 pixel image. Um, and now here we are there's this little section right here that actually shows the world and this is where Saranac Lake would be right now so what we did is we imported imported it and this would be correct for its scale but remember we stretched it 999 percent like that so you can see how it changes the 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 world completely um, so we're gonna need to fix that by changing the top height of the height map. So what this top means here is it's there's like certain levels in the height map and I'm not sure how it works if it um, goes by altitude or just some, some different scale because when I put the actual altitude which was 2400 it didn't actually do anything it like kinda corrupted it so we're gonna have to play around with this a little bit and what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to quickly go and find um, I'm going to find where Saranac Lake would be, which means I have to go um, 
Yeah, I have to find it. It's somewhere in the middle. Uh, oh, okay. Here, so here's the the big hill, and then there's another big hill, and then let's see here. I believe this is Saranac. It's right around here. Yep. Here's here's that hill. All right. So for some reason, it doesn't let you zoom out. Yeah, this is Saranac Lake right here. And this is that hill that we were talking about in the beginning right here, Mount Pisgah. So we're going to have to bring the top down. I think what I did last time was 22,500. Again, I'm not quite sure why I'm doing this, and that wasn't enough because actually we should go to this mountain since it's going to be, this is the tallest point in the map, and actually is. Okay, so that's actually... And again, so just like last video where we were playing around with uh, getting the scaling right, we have to play around with getting this right. Um, so I think 23,000 uh, 23, is, is about right. Let's do maybe 750. Yeah, that's good enough. I think right here is about 255. And so again, this these mountains are going to be covered by trees, so it doesn't really matter. They're not even really mountains. They're just like kind of hills. And then the other thing I'm going to do is I think... Um, let's first bring down, let's bring down the water, because the water, should, I, don't, I don't think we're going to worry about the water, we'll bring it down. And then, the last thing I'm going to do, is I'm going to, I think I'm going to bring the bottom up. So I'm going to see if I can, uh, increase, okay, that did not work. I don't know what the heck just happened. Um, I can't tell if this is making this higher, or if it's making this... Okay, what's, okay, I think, all right, that did something. Because um, I think when I'm, when I'm bringing the bottom down, let's see, yeah, so that gets taller. Okay, so if I, if I increase the bottom of the image, so the bottom of the image is at a higher elevation, that means that, you know, the whole map is going to be sort of lower. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to put the water down at 10. And when these lower elevations start hitting the water, let, let's do 20. Um, so, uh, yeah, let's put it here. Okay, I think this is bedrock. Yeah, this is bedrock right here. And um, okay, I don't think I don't think I can have that hit bedrock because the town is supposed to be right around here. So we have to bring the the bottom of the image down. And uh, down again, let's do 4,000. 4,000 seemed about right. Okay. Yep, this is, so 4,000 is good. And we're going to make sure the water is just below that. And let's get rid of all the, the beach. Yep, okay. So now, now that that happened, we can try to increase or lower the the top oh geez okay that was terrible okay let's I think guess we're just gonna have to keep it the same but basically what I'm doing is I'm making it so that the top of the of the height map um, happens at a lower elevation because we're not gonna worry about the terrain that's like farther away and then I'm making the bottom of the height map appear um, at a or I'm, I'm making the bottom of the Minecraft world appear at a higher elevation of the height map so that there's more space, um, well, you know, because the height map, it, ha it has everything below the ground as well. You remember Saranac Lake is a thousand feet above, or it's like 1500 feet above sea level. So everything that's 1500, all that 1500 feet is included in the height map. So I'm trying to minimize the effect of the 1500 feet and therefore make the mountains more prominent, if that makes sense. And I'll try to explain this in the, in the description. Sometimes I explain better. Um, you know, by, uh, by uh, writing. But if you didn't understand what I just said, just uh, leave a question in the comments and I can go ahead and try to explain it better for you. Um, so again, let's just, yeah, let's just do this. This is about right. So the mountains are more prominent, which is what we wanted. And let's just make sure, again, so Saranac Lake should be here. So that's good. And so yeah, now all the terrain is good. It's scaled perfectly that it should be about 12,000 blocks, which is what it is. So we have essentially what is as close to reality as we can get 
in Minecraft without having mods, which means this is still, this mountain here is still going to be about half the size as it is in real life, but it still is as close as we can get it. So we're going to press OK, and we're going to wait for this to export. All right, so here we have the re-exported world, and um, as you can see, I did change the um, the configure view settings a little bit. So if you are following along to this tutorial, I'll leave the image in the description as well as my export settings, which are here. You can just copy these down. And I just sat here and played around with them for a little while until I got it right. So this is the what it looks like now. So the next thing that I, or the second thing that I wanted to show you for this video is going to be actually painting down rows. So the main reason we actually have this um, this overlay is so that we can paint the roads down using this image tracer. So um, and it's just going to be a template. You're not going to actually be like making roads or anything. It's just painting roads down with um, with annotations. So World Painter has this fine and dandy thing called annotations right here on the left side and this is going to be your friend. What you can do is you can select any color, you can do purple, light gray, whatever you want. I'm going to do light gray since that's the color of these roads. And choose one of these brushes. I'm working with the trackpad so I can't really get it down to a small size so I have to go with like this size. And what annotations do when you select this pencil then choose your color um, and then your brush, you can actually paint down roads by, so it's basically like you're just tracing, which is really, really useful. So I'll show you, I'll do this for a little bit and then I'll fast forward, but basically what I'm doing is I'm going like this and I'm just, I'm just tracing this like that, tracing it here like that. You can see I have a road there. And what we're going to do is as we complete the the um, the roads, we're going to flatten the terrain out where the roads are. We're also going to use this to add the river and we're going to adjust the terrain to where the river is. So we're going to go go ahead and I'm just going to do this for a little bit longer. Um, so let's see, there is a main road here, smaller little road here. Uh, this looks like it goes right here. There's another one that goes right here. And we'll do this. And if you make mistakes with this, it's fine. It's not a really big deal because you have the satellite image anyways. Um, you know, sometimes you can paint down roads that, and there is not actually a road there, but it's fine. You can just remove the wool in, in game and you're good to go. So again, just paint stuff down like this. Um, it's really simple. Just do this. And um, let's see here. Um, yeah, and then we can just continue like this. There's definitely another road that comes here, a road that comes here, and down here. It's like there's a little roundabout thing, I guess. And let me see, does this, does that help? I think that probably helps turning off the, turning off that. Um, so yeah, I mean, you can, like, you can pull up a little, a, a uh, map just to make sure you're correct. Um, so like, let's see here, I see, yeah, there's not really a lot of roads over here. I've actually, I uh, think I missed one. I missed a road right here, apparently. Yep, I guess I missed a road right there. I stayed in this hotel before. Um, and appa uh, apparently this goes up like this. All right. Um, yeah, and apparently that's not a road right here. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, so anyways. Um, so just, yeah, you, you can just continue like this. Actually, that is definitely a road, never mind. I think, I th it's, it's probably not, I bet you it's not writing down these roads, but we're gonna have to 
we're gonna have to uh, like I bet Google Maps is not noting them down as roads but I remember there was roads here when I was there so um, yeah so just keep going like this um, same thing here I guess it, oh okay so it just kind of turns like this all right sounds good and you and every now and then you can like turn this off and you can see oh here's my town it's starting to appear on world painter nice so yeah it looks it looks good also this stuff you can take care of this by doing global operations um, so you can either say fill in bare grass and then go and it'll fill everything in and then um, you can get rid of the frost layer by going here clicking by clicking the pencil clicking frost and then alternate clicking and you'll get rid of the, the frost like this. I believe that is a, uh, or a control click, yeah, control click. And then, um, let's see, terrain, you can also just paint it down like, uh, we'll just paint all of it right here. I'm getting rid of that, paint it all here, paint it all here. So, I mean, we, we've basically gotten rid of everything that's not grass. So. Anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead and time lapse me doing this. So, I'll see you on the other side. So there you have it. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, stay tuned for the next video, which is going to be all about, uh, you know, terrain editing when it comes to water. We're going to talk about rivers. Um, and then the next, next video is going to be all about trees. So again, thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Be sure to like and subscribe if this helped you out and gave you a little bit of inspiration because, you know, it helps us out as well. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you have an awesome day.